how should your performance be evaluated? Well, I'm sure that you know that you should only be evaluated on those actions for which you're responsible. This topic looks at identifying the range of responsibility centres and how managers are evaluated on the performance of these centres and on their own performance. Make sure you understand this as it will have a bearing on how you are evaluated in the workforce in the future or if not now. We also examine a number of financial evaluation tools and importantly consider the limitations of these tools as the sole means of evaluating both manager and centre performance. In our next topic, we'll look at the non-financial evaluation tools that we can use to flesh out a really good evaluation of both centre and management performance.